Good morning and welcome. My name is Duncan Wood and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Rapid News Communications Group who are the publishers of TCT Magazine and Personalise. In my spare time, which is very little, I'm also publisher of TCT, which we are proud to say has been reporting on 3D printing for now 20 years plus. We are, as one of the audience said to us last night, um, passionate about the technology and what it might do for the world. Two years ago, myself and Jim Woodcock, who I will uh, introduce you to in a minute, uh, visited CES. There were maybe five 3D printing companies on the floor, spread out, very hard to find. Fast forward to today, and we see over 60 companies, a dedicated marketplace presented by TCT, and a full day of top-level conference programming, which we are del delighted to welcome you to this morning. The transformation is testament to the excitement around 3D printing and the pace of change within the technology, and also the readiness of the CEA to embrace new sectors such as 3D printing with open arms. I said in my opening remarks last year that the reality of 3D printing is actually already better than the hype, and that still holds true today. We don't need to promise that it will change the entire world tomorrow when it is already changing small parts of the world for many people every day. That's a big enough win right now. The often touted big, wide reaching impacts will come, but not just yet. 3D printing is a complex technology. It takes time to make it work well, consistently, and certainly for the consumer, the day that they use it as an everyday tool is still some way off. However, fear not, you can still be excited about 3D printing because although refining tech can take some time, we are seeing a very different thought process taking root across the 3D printing landscape. And in fact, it's actually very refreshing to see this after so many years of litigation and fighting in the space over IP. But this new approach also means the pace of development will be exp exponentially increased. And therefore, the day when we all have access to this technology might actually be closer than we previously thought. Collaboration is now an increasing method of achieving growth and progress favored by many companies in the space. It is now not only acquisition, although there is still plenty of that as evidence this week, but partnerships, communities, and relationships that are enabling new models to emerge and for the adoption of 3D printing to be accelerated and for technology to be made more accessible. Take Autodesk Spark platform, of which I'm sure we will hear more of uh, this morning. The list of partners is long and includes machine manufacturers, startups, industrial giants, but all with the noble aim of collaborating to solve problems with new solutions, with less effort, and of course, better results. Can adoption be increased? Can high accuracy be achieved in low cost machines? Can reliability be achieved in these stripped down machines without this sort of collaboration? Of course, it can be. But the pooled brains trust in these collaborative groups that are emerging deliver an accelerated innovation process and more innovative solutions that will propel us forward at a far greater pace. 3D Hubs is another example of collaboration which you will hear from today. This community delivers opportunity for increased adoption far in excess of anything one man or one company in a few machines can do. MakerBot 2 have a partner program as do 3D Systems and perhaps Materialize who have been partnering for as long as I can remember are perhaps the innovators in this open thought process by business led by their CEO Freed. So, Partnerships, communities, and relationships are a good thing, and an increasingly more prevalent thing in the 3D printing space, and that will accelerate this industry at new speeds. And that is really what we should be all excited about. And that's not any hype, that's the reality of what's happening today, and a reality that you will learn more about this morning and through the day.